let there be light just to open the window and that is a lot better anyways what's up you guys happy monday um i'm just going to be recording a quick get ready with me using my boxy charm palette pellets pellets pellet or pellets I have this Pure Festival palette, which I got in my BoxyCharm, and I'm so excited to use it. Um, I tried out one of the glitters, and they're so nice, so I'm excited to use that. And I think there was something else I wanted to use. Well... Okay, anyway, yeah, this is the palette I'm going to be using. And I'm going to start off with primer. So I have the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Primer. I'm going to start off with that. This is a really nice primer. Um, I think it's silicone. I don't think the ingredients are on here. Yeah, it doesn't say what it is on here, but um, it feels like a silicone primer. I know like a lot of people don't like silicone primers, but I really like this one. It's really smoothing and comfortable feeling. <laughs> Okay, once I've got that on, I'm going to, I'm always tempted to start with the face first, but I'm going to start with eyes today. What kind of a look do I want to do, you guys? Um, hmm. I really want to use one of the glitters. Hmm. Okay, I don't know, I'm gonna come up with something. Um, first, I'm gonna use my Milani eyeshadow primer. I am still kind of on the fence about whether you need a primer for eyeshadow or not. I know like a lot of people have been using concealer lately to prime their eyes. That's I do that sometimes and other times I just don't use any primer at all so I don't know it really just comes down to personal preference so yeah okay so in the pure palette I'm gonna grab this NYX brush and start off with this shade called free spirit in the top left corner throw that in the brow bone on the brow bone in the brow bone I don't know How was everybody's spring break? I know mine went by super fast, but um, mine was good. <laughs> I really like the mirror in this palette. It's a pretty big sized mirror. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab this Morphe brush and um, I don't know, should I play with color today? Like I don't wanna be like a boring bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this um, shade called epic and throw that in the um, crease this is a really nice transition shade it's like orangey and you can really build these up um, I've never tried anything from pure before but I have been liking oh this is like my first time really using this palette but I, I do like their, their formula of their shadows. That's really pretty. I like it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab this shade called Hidden Desert. 
and go on the outer corner. Sorry if I'm far away from the camera. I'm still trying to get used to like recording myself. Putting makeup on. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited for Endgame. I know I just said in my last video I can't wait, but today we're going to see it. That's like all I'm thinking about. <clears throat> I'm going to um, go in with the red um, glitter shade called Fireworks and it actually has like red and like little gold flecks as well but these glitters are really nice and they stay so easily so definitely um, love that about this palette that these glitters like can you see like they're really nice <clears throat> So I'm so excited because um, over the weekend I went with my mom wedding dress shopping and it really like just hit me that like wow like I really am getting married. <laughs> it was so much fun like I can't wait to say yes to the dress but also like I don't want to pick one like right away like I want the perfect like the dress like I don't want to just be pick picking one because my sister and my mom like it or whatever like I I want to pick the dress that is the most me and really like you only wear your wedding dress like one day so it has to be perfect um I'm not a bridezilla by any means but oh my gosh I just love this glitter I don't know if you can see I'm I'm gonna like Get in close so you can get a better view. It's just so pretty. Like, the camera doesn't do it justice. Okay, um, once I got that going on. Oh, oh, I remember what other... I wanted to use my Cover FX palette. I'm like, I couldn't remember in the beginning of this video. I'm like, I thought we got another palette in BoxyCharm. Okay, hold the phone, hold the phone. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Cover effects, you guys. This palette, I've been loving. Um, I judged BoxyCharm at first, but when I saw that they were giving full-size palettes in the boxes, like, this is awesome. And Cover Effects is another brand I haven't tried, so I'm really excited to try to um, continue to use this. I've used it once or twice before, but, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep using it because I love the shades in this palette. It's really versatile. Um... Actually, I think I used it in my last video. But yeah, like this is a great highlight shade. And then you have these two other highlight shades and then a blush, a bronzer. And this is like a finishing powder, but it just has a slight amount of glitter. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it has like the perfect amount of glitter where you can see it in the light, but it's not like overwhelming. Like if you're someone who doesn't like glitter, like you might still like this powder. Anyways, I like it, <laughs> but I love glitter, so can't go by me. All right, um, what foundation am I going to use today? I think I'm going to use my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. It's a really good foundation. I've been loving it. Um, it smells good. It looks good. I love everything about it. 
it's a, I think it has SPF, yeah, SP, SPF 20 too. And I have it in the shade Ivory. Hey, am I doing brows today? Sometimes I don't feel like doing brows. I'll probably just do like a quick brow. This is the cover all rich brown pencil. As we already know, I'm obsessed. I feel like a lot of people on YouTube have been really loving this pencil. I don't know, it just seems to be like the perfect brow shade. And I, like I said in my other video, like I have such a hard time matching the color of my eyebrows, but this CoverGirl um, Rich Brown is like perfect for me. And I think a lot of other people, it's just, I don't know, like usually I think people's eyebrows are darker than their hair, so this Rich Brown just works well for me anyways. Okay, looking good for now. I'm not going to spend all day doing that. Um, okay, now I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know why I didn't clip my hair back before this. It's like really annoying me. I love how when everybody stops talking about Tarte Shape Tape, I finally get it. Love that for me. Okay. Just going to blend it out with a sponge. Jeez, all my sponges are like all over the place. I don't know why so many people have been saying like they don't like Tarte Shape Tape. Like it's been like my go-to concealer for like a long time. <clears throat> I mean, really it's just personal preference, I guess, but it hasn't been super dry on me and um, yeah, I like it. I think people just like want to find something like to complain about. Honestly, it is a good concealer. I mean, I guess I can see like what they're they're saying about it being a little dry, but <clears throat> it's not super dry on me. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> 
now that I've got this going on, we are going to go in with the cover effects, also from BoxyCharm palette. And <clears throat> I'm going to grab the bronzer, bronzer shade. It's called Contour, down here on the lower left. I'm just going to blend that out a little with this brush. <clears throat> I never know if I want to go in with a blush after bronzer because it's like, I don't know, for me it seems just like bronzer or blush, like both it can be a little bit much, but I don't know. <clears throat> I think I'm going to grab a little bit of blush <clears throat> actually from my fetish palette. There's this like orangish color, <clears throat> I think which would really go good with my eyeshadow. It's called Salem. This is a really pretty blush. I, I grabbed this um, Kat Von D palette because it was on sale at Sephora. So definitely pick it up. Um, it's a really good blush and highlight palette. Okay, and I'm going to grab for highlight back into the cover effects palette. The um actually the highlighter shade called highlighter this time. Um, another highlighter you could use if you have BoxyCharm is the loose um, one we got from Artist Couture. That's actually a really good highlight. It actually go really good with this look, but I already put this one on, so we're just going to go with that today. Okay, <clears throat> and I'm going to throw some mascara on. Actually, should I do a wing? I think I'm going to do a wing. I get so like scared to do a wing because if I mess it up then I have to like completely redo <laughs> my eye look. But who knows? I think I'm just gonna go for it today. Um and this is the NYX matte liquid liner. If you're looking for a good liquid liner, actually NYX makes a lot of really nice ones. They have like a double-ended one, which is pretty cool because you have a liquid liner and um, I don't know, a different type of liner. But um, they're super affordable and make really nice liner as you can see gonna attempt to match these now. And one thing I will say about these glitters is they don't even crease at all. Like I'm not I'm not seeing it get into my crease. So that's really nice.
Okay, I mean those wings are not bad, but they're not not really good either. <laughs> okay, now that we've got that on, I actually want to go in with an eyeliner. Where is okay? I'm gonna go in. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention. Um, if any of you guys are um, you know, trying to be eco-friendly, trying to save money on makeup bags, whatever, I got this great idea. Shout out to my mom. Um, to use bags from bed sheets to store my makeup in and um, yeah I don't know it's been really working out pretty well for me so that's just a little quick tip I want to throw in. Um, <clears throat> okay so eyeliner. Where's my eyeliner bag? I have so much makeup it's like ridiculous. Okay so I'm gonna grab the soft red here it is it's a Maybelline lasting drama matte eyeliner and this is in the shade rusty terracotta just wipe off my sometimes your lower lash line can get a little you just want to wipe off any um, wetness you might have um, okay so I'm gonna Sorry for this disgusting inside of my eye face. This eyeliner is nice, but I don't feel like it lasts very long. And it's called Lasting Drama. Like, what the heck, Maybelline? I want my money back. Okay, and then after that, I'm actually gonna grab some of this Kat Von D um, blush and go right underneath, kind of smoke it out a bit. I don't know, I saw this like palette in Sephora and I kind of like wasn't impressed with it, but it really is a nice um, blush and highlight palette, and you can even use it on your eyes like I'm doing now. So, yeah, I think this is $21, and you get, you know, six shades, so it's not a bad palette. I'm really liking this eye look. Okay, this video is almost over. Bear with me. Um, we're just going to go in with mascara and lips and then we're gonna be done so I'm gonna grab my Maybelline total temptation and then I have the milk mascara the Kush milk mascara which I picked up from Sephora and I picked it up because of Samantha Randall she made me buy it because I was like she it was like her favorite mascara so I just had to see like what the hype was with it and um I mean it's all right I, I don't know I'm just you know impartial to my um Rimmel London those are have always been my favorite mascaras so it's hard to sway me when I find something I like like that's it <laughs> so I'm gonna put like two or three coats of this one and then go on top with the Kush Mascara for milk makeup. This is actually a really nice um, drugstore mascara if you're looking for one. It's called Total Temptation. Let that dry for a little bit.
This is actually really good. I can see why she would recommend it because it's not super um, wet. Like, it, it's a really good mascara formula. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, once we've got that going on, I'm gonna grab lip products. Oh, these aren't lips. Lips. It's one of those days, you guys. It's a Monday. Alright, um, what should I go in with? This is more of like an orangey reddish type look. So, Sticks are going missing. I'm looking for my cover girl one. I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Wow. That's ridiculous. These cover girl lipsticks are so good. Um, if you're looking for a good drug drugstore lipstick, like these, I was like amazed by the formula and they have a nice smell. And I don't know, I just really the cover girl and the Milani ones, and I also picked up two L'Oreal ones that are really nice, so definitely recommend those. Um, as far as lips today, uh, I think I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty. Yeah. Where? I need to really like organize this bag. Stuff is all over the place. Don't I have? I need to get some more liquid lipsticks. All right, well, anyways. Should I use the red or the brown? Mm, I think the red actually might look better. I also have this shade, which is called Soft Spoken. This one, which is like bronzy, it's called Exposed. Um, hmm. Let's just go in with this one. I need to get more lip stuff. I really love the NYX formula. It's really good. Okay, once we've got that on, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, and this is, this is in the shade Fenty Glow, I guess. <laughs> Actually, this matches this, um, this lip color perfectly, so... I had to get a gloss balm to see what all the hype was about, and now I completely get it, like... This formula is so nice. It's really lightweight. It has a good smell. Okay, and this is the final look. And now I gotta get ready to go to class, so. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, tell your friends and family, check out my channel. Yeah, have a good rest of your week, guys. Bye. Mwah.